Take a look at this. That's a little bit out of control. There's nothing we could do with this. I would recommend reprocessing the harness assembly. Let's replace these damaged circuits and get this vehicle back on the road. But what do you do when you have, say, six or fewer wires damaged in the harness assembly? Let's show you the repair technique to that. Here we have a harness assembly that's been damaged due to heat. Unfortunately, the customer's son was experimenting on his car and ended up applying a little bit too much heat. But let's take a closer look at this damage. Again, we want to focus on the six wire rule, right? No more than six wires in the bundle. So once we start going after this damage and spreading it apart and looking at the wires or circuits that are affected, we end up with approximately six. We have two here, two twisted pairs, which is really good because I want to illustrate the effects of repairing twisted pairs. There's a reason for that, that they're twisted. That's four. Here I have number five, and just below it is number six. So here are the six wires we're going to go after. We're going to cut this harness open like a fish. All right, we're going to start cutting back the tape and getting access to the wire because we need to stagger these splices. But how are you going to find six inches of additional wire in the harness assembly? We have to open this harness deep within itself and take these wires and see if they're twisted or wrapped around itself inside the harness assembly. If so, we're going to untwist it and then we're going to straighten them out bringing all these wires up to the top and hopefully we'll be able to gather another six inches. So let's get started. To save us a little bit of time and to keep you from getting bored, we went ahead and opened up the harness assembly for you. Now, this could be done on the vehicle as well, because as you can notice, I didn't open up too much of the harness assembly. We probably exposed maybe three feet, but that's going to be enough. And of course, you can see how this could still remain attached. Again, it requires patience. Just take your time and relax and get into the job. That's the easiest way about going uh, going about some of these repairs. So I pulled out the six wires that we want to look at and here's our twisted pair and twisted pairs are in there to help reduce the electromagnetic force, EMF, a field that's generated around a wire. By twisting them you cancel out that EMF. Now this wasn't a very good job, you remember this is a factory here, but look what happens when you start to unravel them. You start gaining length and then eventually it's open. Now, once I cut this, I can essentially unravel this. And let me show you what's going to happen, especially on the twisted pairs. I'm going to go right into the center of the damage, right? I don't want to cut out too much. So I'm going to cut it, open it up, and like I said, we want to move it to the top of the harness. So I'm going to unweave it. I'm going to pull it back through, and I'm going to unweave it again. Now I'm going to take the opposite end, and I'm going to start unraveling it. And again, bringing it to the top. Look what happened. I gained an inch. Now I can do that with each one of these wires and start making my staggering points. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start repairing some of these wires. I'm going to show you another video on cutting, stripping, and splicing because you're going to use that application on this harness assembly and then we'll come back to it after I show you this video. Welcome back. Did you like the video on cutting, stripping, and splicing? It was fun making it. We saved you a little bit of time. We went ahead and did our own splicing on this particular wire harness assembly. So I just wanted to illustrate the fact that we were able to make the staggers. So we were able to stagger six wires in this particular bundle by simply gaining more access to the harness assembly. Some other key things I want to point out while we have this open. One, we got kind of lucky. Uh, this is a supplemental restraint sensor connector for the crash sensor. Nothing was damaged on that. But underneath this is a factory splice. There's your factory splice. This needs to be considered as a termination point. So if you have damage within six inches of this termination point, factory splice, you have to consider driving that splice back. Again, we keep applying the same rules, the six inch and the six wire rule to every harness assembly that you're faced with. 